Nothing. How would you explain nothing? When you try to think about nothing, your mind inevitably visualizes something. And if you say complete darkness is nothing, even that implies the existence of space. Fast forward to 13.8 billion years, the very beginning of everything. At that moment, the entire universe, matter, energy, space, and even time was compressed into something far tinier than a subatomic particle, a point of infinite density and heat we call a singularity. Then, in an instant, this singularity began to expand explosively, not into anything, but creating space and time as it grew. As the universe expanded, it started cooling. Within the first few minutes, simple nuclei like hydrogen and helium formed through a process called nucleosynthesis. About 300,000 years later, the universe cooled enough for electrons to combine with these nuclei to form neutral atoms, allowing light to travel freely for the first time. This light is still visible today as the cosmic microwave background, a faint glow still observable today in a critical piece of evidence for the Big Bang. Over time, gravity pulled matter together to form the first stars and galaxies. These stars produced heavier elements, like carbon and oxygen, through nuclear fusion, essential ingredients for planets and life. Some of these gases and leftover debris surrounded stars, eventually forming planets. On one of these planets, in just the right conditions, something extraordinary happened. The first living cell was born, a tiny spark of life in an endless cosmos. Over time, life evolved, growing more complex until one species emerged with the ability to think, explore and wonder. And now, this species, standing atop, looks to the skies and asks, what existed before the Big Bang? The question, what existed before the Big Bang, is inherently flawed because, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, time and space are interconnected. Time itself was born with the Big Bang, so the concept of before is meaningless in this context since there was no time. The concept of nothing is something our brains struggle to process. If we try to comprehend nothingness, our minds naturally assign a placeholder as our thought process relies on something existing. But imagine if this universe emerged from absolute nothingness. It feels almost meaningless and incomprehensible. We realize the concept is beyond our understanding because our brains aren't designed to grasp absolute nothingness. However, when we dive into the quantum world, our perception of reality changes entirely. It challenges everything we know, offering a completely new perspective. In classical physics, an object can only exist in one form at a time. For instance, if something is a particle, it can't simultaneously be a wave. But in quantum mechanics, a single entity can exist as both a particle and a wave. In particle physics, we create new particles by smashing existing ones, like protons or electrons, in high-energy environments such as the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest particle accelerator, propels particles to nearly the speed of light and collides them, revealing fundamental particles like the Higgs boson. Now, consider nothing, like the number zero, zero has no value. Really? When you think of it as a sum of plus one and minus one, it suddenly has meaning. Similarly, in an empty space, there's a potential for matter and antimatter to coexist. This concept was first proposed in the 1930s by Fritz Sauter, who laid the groundwork scientifically, though more research was needed. Werner Heisenberg and Hans Euler later expanded on it. And in 1951, Julian Schwinger developed the concept further, giving it the name Schwinger Effect. The Schwinger effect describes how a strong electric field can split empty space into particle and to particle pairs. When the field is intense enough, it provides the energy to create these particles out of the vacuum. Though theorized in quantum electrodynamics, replicating such conditions, like those near neutron stars or black holes, has been beyond our reach on Earth. 
but in 2022, researchers managed to generate strong electric fields in a lab using the unique properties of graphene at the University of Manchester. Graphene, the strongest known material, has a remarkable structure that allows electrons to move incredibly fast, about 0.33% of the speed of light. When they tested this setup, an astonishing result appeared. Super luminous glow emerged from an empty vacuum. At first, it seemed to violate quantum laws, but deeper analysis revealed that new particles were being formed. This experiment shows that even from nothing, using only an intense electric field, we can create particles. In the future, this process could lead to creating even more particles, opening new doors in quantum research. This discovery is a critical link to the Big Bang Theory. The idea of something from nothing, though once seen as absurd, now has experimental support, opening a door to endless possibilities and reminding us how much of the universe is still waiting to be understood.